which I absolutely hate with burning passion. Can you tell my Mrs. Meyers obsession is real? This is so majorly dysfunctional. It is an absolute heap once again. I want this to be an encouragement to you that you don't always get it right the first time. I feel like we see minimalism videos and think that that is just the end result on the first attempt. And then we start to doubt our own ability. Sometimes it takes a couple of tries, so don't get discouraged. Hey everyone, it's Natalie. Welcome to my channel and welcome to another episode of Messy to Minimal. This is the series I've been doing on my channel since the new year where I have gone through each room of my house and done an extreme declutter. This journey toward a more minimal lifestyle has been absolutely life-changing for our family and in the process my husband and I have gotten rid of 75% of our stuff. But if there's anything that I've learned along the way, it's that sometimes the spaces in our house that we've previously decluttered need a second or a third or a fourth pass. We don't always get it right the first time we do an extreme declutter, whether it's we didn't get rid of enough stuff to the way we reorganized everything isn't quite as functional as it needs to be. And there are a couple of places around this house that are nagging me that I really want to tackle once again. We all deal with clutter and messes around our house, but I hope this video is an encouragement and that it shows you that you are not alone in your struggles to keep things under control. I always want to be real with you guys. That's why I show you the nitty gritty and the messes in the nooks and crannies. And I have some spots in this house that really need some help even after I did extreme declutters. So give this video a thumbs up if you enjoy it. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't done so already. And if you haven't seen the other videos in this series, then I will leave my messy to minimal playlist linked in the description box so you can get caught up. And if you have seen the other videos in this series, then leave this emoji in the comments so that I can say hi to everyone who's been along with me for this journey. But for now, I'm gonna to share with you the couple of days that I spent just doing quick projects of reorganizing and doing some more decluttering to give you even more decluttering inspiration. Okay, so this is the first spot we are revisiting for a quick messy to minimal. Um, yeah. This is so majorly dysfunctional. It is an absolute heap once again. You're gonna hear my dishwasher going right beside here, but I have not revisited underneath my kitchen sink since that very first episode of Messy to Minimal. The kitchen was the first space that I did any of that extreme decluttering and reorganization in. And since then I have learned a lot about how maintenance is required in order to continue to have a spot or a room or a closet or what have you continue to be functional and organized and i need to go through everything and get rid of the stuff that i no longer use and the fact that i haven't gone through this stuff under here in six months means there is probably stuff in here that i haven't used in six months that I will never use that I should be getting rid of. And I'm hoping to be able to get this done in like a half an hour or an hour or so. So we're gonna just get started with clearing everything out. And then as we piece stuff back in, really making sure that everything that goes back in here is something that we use on a regular basis and something that actually has a purpose. So let's get started. So I've kind of just thrown things into their categories, which it wasn't hard to do. And um, the stuff that I see here isn't all that surprising. Like I'm not finding stuff that I didn't know was back there, except I will say I bought a box of SOS pads um, a few months ago and then I couldn't find them. And so I literally just last week bought another box, which wasn't opened on the bottom of the box. Oh well. So I have two of these, which I don't need to store both of them underneath the sink. And if I was better organized, 
I would have been able to find what I need and not buy more than what I need. And I have multiple um, dishwasher detergent under here. I only really need to keep one in here at a time. So I have cleaners, cleaning supplies like scrubbers and brushes and stuff. I have plant care supplies and little fertilizers and stuff there. Plastic wrap, aluminum foil, parchment paper, reusable little silicone Ziploc bags and stuff like that. And then I have like my basic cleaner, stainless steel, dish soap, fruit cleaner, you know, just like my basic everyday stuff. But there's way more here than what I need. So keep some by my sink here. Can you tell my Mrs. Meyers obsession is real? And then I also have a collection of vases or vases if you're super cool and if you just pronounce it that way like Weston does. His mom is from Northern Ireland and I think that's why he pronounces it that way because we were both raised in the same region. Anyway, um, there's a couple of these that I can probably get rid of. And then I think stuff that I'm just not going to store under there because I never use these are my aprons. I actually still have some of my old Starbucks aprons under here, which I'll probably cut down and give to the kids so that they can pretend Starbucks in their little play kitchen in Haley's room. But I am gonna try to find a place for these items and then the extras that I have, I'm gonna find a place to store them probably out in the garage with the stuff that we store out there. So I'm gonna vacuum under here, under the sink, cause there's a few little crumbs and dust and stuff. And then I have some storage solutions that I bought that I'm gonna see if they fit in here so that I can have everything really functional. Alrighty, well here's the stuff that is no longer gonna be going underneath the sink. Not this box, this is those little drawers that I put underneath there. But we have this which I'm holding on to because these are full and they're like the extras. So I'm just gonna bring this out to the garage. Also gonna hold on to the vinegar because we use that. It just doesn't need to be stored underneath the sink. But these were bottles that were empty or I was able to like pour into other bottles if they were like multiple ones that were half full. A couple of vases in there I'm not gonna use. We have some aprons, a couple of drying mats. I have a drying mat that I really like to use and I don't need more than one. So um, I'm gonna be donating the extras. I get little um, samples of stuff when I do like a Target pickup. And these are just ones that I don't use. So I'm gonna be donating those as well. The, uh, those can actually go to our local food bank. They take cleaning supplies and stuff if they're unopened. So that will be going there. And this is a plastic drawer. It's perfectly good. It just wasn't very functional underneath the kitchen sink. But let me show you what is under this sink. Haley's standing there at the stove waiting for me to cook with her. I actually started doing a little bit of dinner prep. Okay, just a second, Haley. I'm gonna show them what's underneath the sink, okay? You have to cook them first. No, they're not bananas, they're water chestnuts. Can you say water chestnut? Water chestnut. <laughs> and then this is what is under the sink and it is so much better. So, from left to right we have the Lysol wipes that we use every single day as well as the dishwasher detergent. I have the one drying mat that I have just folded here. I do want to get something like a little pocket or something for it to fit into on the back side of this door 
but temporarily it's just fitting in right there for now. I have this little bin of cleaners. I have oven cleaner, floor cleaner, I bleach our sink, and I have like my refill of my dish soap back here. As you can see, the way this is arranged under here with the disposal that was installed later on, and then they also have like a uh, water filtration system that we don't use because we just get our filtered water through the uh, fridge. So things are a little not ideal for how big it is under the sink. This whole system that was installed later just wasn't done very smartly. Oh well, we're adapting. So I just have fruit and veggie wash, some um, stainless steel cleaner, some glass cleaner, these little mesh drawers that I got from Bed Bath & Beyond. Um, this is the only spot that this fit. And as you saw, the other like little wire rack set that I got, I'm just taking back because I couldn't get it to work. I have my extra sponges and scouring pads. I also have brushes, like a, um, a cast iron scrubber thing, a little cast iron griddle scraper. I have a glass scraper for my glass uh, stove cooktop. Nope, we're not touching, nope. Haley keeps wanting to get that little chain mail thing. Um, and then extra garbage bags here when we reline our garbage can. So that's in that drawer. And then down here, I finally have a spot for all of my plant care stuff that I keep in the house. I do have some more stuff that I keep out in the garage, but these are like my small bottles of stuff. And a thing here that um, tells me like the acidity of the soil and the moisture level and stuff. And now that all has a place to tuck in there really nicely. Back behind and actually quite easy to grab, we have the vases that I decided to hang on to. Just a couple taller, large vases and then a small vase back there. And then these are some food storage things. We mostly use the little silicone bags. That's why there's not very many there because I have a lot of stuff in these silicone reusable bags that I got from Grove. These are in my fridge right now um, and in Weston's lunchbox, but we do have uh, disposable Ziploc bags as well, sandwich, quart, and then I have a couple of these boxes. We opened two of the gallon size. We didn't need to, we only need one open at a time, but we'll make our way through them. And I have like wrap, so parchment paper that I put on my baking pans. I have a roll of uh, plastic wrap, a couple of rolls of aluminum foil, another roll of parchment paper, but this is about as much as I ever have like open and available. And it fits great on this little tiered rack that I have. So I think everything looks so much better in here and it's so much more functional. I can literally see every single item underneath this sink. So if I wanna grab something, I know exactly where it is and it's super fast and easy to grab. And I also want to show you guys this. I didn't do this today. I got this a couple of months ago. It's a 3M um, like spray bottle hook. This is what it's made for and you just hook it on like this. This is the Folex instant carpet spot remover that I use pretty much every day with three young children. Um, and it just goes there behind the door and it closes up. Thank you, Haley. Doesn't it look so much better in there? So that is the quick reorganization and declutter of the space underneath my kitchen sink. And in a couple of days, I'll probably pick up another project because there's a couple of other spots around this house that could use a quick declutter and reorganization. So I will see you on the next day I do something like this. Hello, welcome to the next little re-declutter, reorganize spot in my house. Today we're going to be working in the master bathroom. Let's head into the bathroom here. It has very harsh lighting and it's a bit echoey, but it's a bathroom. That's how it is. So if you guys watched the Messy to Minimal episode originally where I was in this bathroom doing an extreme declutter and reorganization, then you'll be familiar with some of the spots around here. As I've been going through the last several months after getting this space reorganized, there's a lot about it that is still bothering me. Visually, it's not working for me. Functionality wise, it's okay, but I am bothered by it. So we have this medicine cabinet with a door. I have a lot of skincare and stuff in here. And then we have this little rack with shelves on it, which I absolutely hate with burning passion. And then underneath the sink here, this cabinet um, is actually functioning really well. I didn't pre-tidy this before filming this video, just so I could show you like, how it's actually working out. So we have my little hair tools here in this basket behind the door. 
And then we still have these bins that I organized with the different categories of stuff. There is a thing or two out of place, but it's still functional. It's working really well and it's easy to keep tidy. So this is all working really good in here. The main thing that I'm going to be working on is just this shelf because I think it just looks absolutely horrible. Um, it needs some more decluttering. There's too much on the shelf that I don't use. And now that I've had a few months of it in like this new way that I've set it up, I've come to learn what I do use and what I don't. I was watching Lone Fox's channel and he has some great organization and DIYs and um, decorating and stuff on his channel. Um, he had these little picture ledge shelves in his bathroom organization and he puts like skincare and hair care stuff on it and apparently it just works really well. I really liked the look of it and it seemed to function well and have more of like a minimal style than that huge rack that I have in my bathroom. So I'm going to be testing these out and these were actually 30% uh, off at my Target store. I actually found these on the clearance rack, so that was lucky. Let's get started in the bathroom um, and see how it all turns out. So as I'm clearing off this shelf, I'm realizing there's not actually a whole ton, like when it comes to the number of items. I think it just looks really cluttered. I think like this like X thing here on the side and the slats, there's just like a lot of jumbled texture and it just appears like a lot more, especially since it also reflects in the mirror. So I feel like because it's right next to the mirror like this and kind of juts out over it, it makes it look like literally twice as much. These are the only hair products I own other than the shampoo and conditioner in my shower. So this isn't a lot when it comes to how many hair products the typical woman owns, but it's still probably more than what I currently need. But I think after taking everything off, the next step is definitely to get this down and strategize a better solution for storing the things that I truly do use, like the hair products and a couple of the little facial stuff that I use. There's damage and chipped paint and stuff on the wall because I can tell that even before we lived here, Previous owners tried a few different things to be able to have extra storage in this bathroom that apparently didn't work out. So who knows how many attempts have been made to make more space in this bathroom. Hopefully this will be the final attempt and this will work. Alrighty, this is where we are so far. I have the one shelf and I was thinking maybe I only need one because all of my hair care products, um, minus the stuff that I decluttered out, because there were a couple of products that I just don't use regularly enough to justify having out, um, and all of my daily skincare products fit on this shelf no problem. But the other big issue in this bathroom is my acrylic makeup organizer. This is my entire collection of makeup. I don't have makeup stored anywhere else except for a couple of pieces in my purse that I take with me on the go. And none of these drawers are actually like stuffed full. They have lots of room in them. Um, so the number of items that I'm holding on to for my entire makeup collection is quite reasonable. And so I just went through 
these drawers and found the items that I would use on a daily basis. So not the special occasion makeup, not the extra stuff that I need, but just the stuff that I would use either on a very minimal kind of like no makeup day or even a little bit more kind of like what I'm wearing right now. And everything fits into this little tub right here. Um, and these are the makeup brushes that I use on a regular basis. As I'm going through this once again, I'm realizing that I do not need this acrylic organizer to be just out in the open um, because the stuff that I need can be stored in a much smaller spot. So that means I don't have to have this organizer in the bathroom anymore. It's going out much to the relief of so many of you who just absolutely felt so strongly about the fact that I had it here on top of my toilet. I'm not really into clear organizers, but this one works so well and it was such a good investment that I'm keeping it, but I just don't like the look of it. So I'm not doing it because of negativity and I do appreciate feedback and constructive criticism. It was just so funny to receive the comments that were just like disgusted at me that I would actually do that. So this is making me think that I do need the second shelf that I got um, now that I have these uh, makeup items kind of decluttered out uh, so that I can just pull it down on the days that I do my makeup. So I'm gonna install that up here, rearrange stuff a little bit, and we'll see how it turns out. But it's already looking so much. <laughs> Before I show you the tour of the bathroom now that it's done, um, I just want to show you I have two bags. Um, they're not full to the brim, but they both have stuff in them that I was able to declutter out of the shelves that I worked on. And then here is the bathroom. Oh, it looks so much better. Oh my gosh. So you're going to hear my dryer on the other side of this wall, but we have the top shelf with my makeup stuff, my bin of everyday makeup, as well as my hairbrush in there, my pixie milky mist, which actually comes in a big bottle now. And then I have my hair and skincare shelf. These are the three ones that I use most often, a sleek it iron, uh, straight heat spray, uh, dry shampoo and then a little bit of hairspray there. I have Weston's wax that he uses in his hair that was up in this cabinet, but it'll be easier for him to have it there. I have this little bin oops, with hair ties in it and hopefully I won't be spilling them like that. I have my little aloe vera plant and then my daily skincare. Paula's Choice 2% BHA liquid exfoliant with salicylic acid, my dark spot corrector that I love from Burt's Bees, the Ordinary 100% organic cold pressed rosehip seed oil. I've got this glow serum from Acure, which I love and have used for years. This is my day moisturizer from Burt's Bees from that renewal line. And then my nighttime moisturizer, this Derma E hydrating night cream with hyaluronic acid. I had this extra little 3M double hook, which works good for just a towel right there. I have to go and do a little bit of patching and repairing and like touching up of some scuffs and stuff on the wall. But we have our little night light here, our Quip toothbrushes. These are new. You didn't see these in the last uh, messy to minimal bathroom episode. And then I moved this little tray it was over here and now I have it here with my reusable cotton pads and um, cotton swabs that I have in there, some hand soap and a little like before you go toilet spray. I also get that from Grove. And now there is nothing on top of the toilet, which I'm actually thinking I'll get like a plant of some sort. And then we have our cabinet where I have extra and like specialty skincare stuff in. 
and some like perfume and face wash cloths. And then I was able to put Weston's um, like shaving kit. He had it in a travel bag and he only really needs the bag itself when he's actually traveling. Something that I showed you guys that I did that I don't think I've talked about yet is I transferred my Aztec clay, which comes in this big tub. I have had that big tub of Aztec clay for almost two years now, um, and I barely made a dent. Like you use such a little bit and it's very effective, I swear by it. So instead of that, I put it in this little one and I'm storing the large bin underneath the sink in a spot that was open. And then I just decanted a little bit of my raw apple cider vinegar that I mix in with the dry clay to make a paste and to kind of do like a little spot treatment mask. I put that in this little dropper bottle, keeping those in here, cause that's like a treatment sort of thing, like every once in a while, it's not part of my daily skincare routine. So I think moving forward for this bathroom, I have kind of been inspired by lightening things up a little bit and bringing this uh, little aloe vera plant in here. I've been thinking about it for a while and I think I'm just gonna actually do it. I kind of want to give this bathroom a desert, not truly a cactus theme, but kind of like a spa in Palm Springs theme. Weston and I went to Palm Springs for our one year anniversary and it was one of the best trips we've ever taken. That was before I was vlogging. Um, and I think it would be cool to get some elements in here, just a couple of little things here and there that kind of bring in that sort of desert oasis spa-like sort of feeling. And having it decluttered in here definitely makes that possible because before we were just dealing with too much stuff and we were dealing with stuff that wasn't organized. So stay tuned for that. I don't know if I'll do a video because it's just a couple of things that I'm gonna bring in here, but I'll definitely share it over on my Instagram when I do change stuff up in here and I'll like share links to anything new that I buy. So that is everything for the master bathroom and this video. I hope you guys enjoyed coming along with me to the different areas of my house where I did some re-decluttering and reorganizing. I want this to be an encouragement to you that you don't always get it right the first time. I've said that a couple of times in this video, but it's true. I feel like we see minimalism videos and think that that is just the end result on the first attempt. And then we start to doubt our own ability to uh, make our space tranquil and functional and aesthetically pleasing. Sometimes it takes a couple of tries, so don't get discouraged. Just take another pass over the areas in your house and do quick little decluttering projects like I did. You don't have to spend an entire day going through every single item in one room. You can just start with a shelf, start with underneath the sink, start with a closet in your entry. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more decluttering and minimalism inspiration, as well as my other motherhood and lifestyle videos that I make every single Monday. Turn that bell button on so you don't miss the videos that go up. Thank you so much for spending a little part of your day here with me on my channel and I'll catch you later.